All right. Veuillez vous lever. The International Criminal Court is now in session. L'audience de la Cour pénale internationale est ouverte. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. Thank you very much. Court officer, please um, announce the case. Good morning. Bonjour. Situation République. The court officer, situation in the case of Kenya, in the case of uh, the prosecutor versus Mr. Ruto and Mr. Sang. ICC 0109-0111. We are in public session. Thank you very much. Appearances. Same for the prosecution, Your Honor. Mr. Hooper? Yes, it remains the same on behalf of Mr. Ruto. Mr. Cartwell? Uh, it remains the same, Mr. President. Mr. Same for the victims. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, a quick housekeeping matter. As you would have noted, the Kenyatta case um, has now been adjourned over to February. We don't need to discuss the implication of that to our case uh, today, but it's something we would like uh, for council and everyone to think about, um, and we will return to it and take submissions on it. Uh, before we adjourn this session on whether we cannot use the opportunity to have more sittings in the Ruto case in the time that's now been freed up, uh, which ordinarily would have been shared with the Kenyatta case. It's it just something we thought we'd raise for all sides to think about. And then, as I said, before we um, adjourn for the session, we'll return to the question. Thank you, Your Honour. Um, in fact, uh, we have been discussing it yesterday and again this morning. Um, uh, I, I know my learned friend, Mr. Hooper, is anxious to get started this morning, so uh, he, he proposed that we would address it sometime during the course of the day. Um, my concern is that if we leave it right until the end of the session, with the uh, logistical arrangements that need to be made with VWU, we will be eating in very far into whatever time is remaining before the recess. So if Your Honours are minded to uh, continue before the recess, then the sooner we get a decision, the, the more likely it is that we will be able to uh, make some sort of a substantial uh, uh, inroads into the case during this session. Um, I, I know my learned friends are not disposed to uh, uh, continue before the recess. Uh, I'm, I'm sure they will explain why, but I, I think it boils down to preparation time. Um, I believe my learned friend, Mr. Khan, also wishes to raise at, at some stage during the day the issue of the request for excusal of um, uh, the first accused, Mr. Ruto, next week. Um, perhaps with the leave of the chamber, this matter could be discussed either after the tea adjournment or immediately after the lunch adjournment today so that we can get a decision sooner rather than later. Uh, I'm grateful, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Um, my learned friend has uh, correctly uh, intimated that uh, we would wish to raise um, the issue of the, um, the application to excuse Mr. Ruto next week. Uh, I had uh, uh, highlighted that uh, um, as, as a motion earlier uh, in the week. So, Your Honours, whenever there is a, a slot uh, but before the end of today, I'd be grateful for a few minutes to make the application formally and to get, hopefully, a ruling from, from Your Honours. Thank you. We will, um, of course, uh, uh, we're open to receive submissions and procedural matters, but um, in light of the fact that uh, we are in some sort of time press uh, with two witnesses, we would like to make as much as possible uh, the most headway that we can with those two. So uh, with, without further ado, let's bring in the witness and 
continue. Uh, blinds will come down and the witness will be let in. The court officer, we are in public session. Please proceed. Right. Um, here we go. Watch the screen. Did you recognize who that person was? No. Uh, as far as you know, he, he, he's not, th this was not, uh, he was not an a, a, a ODM um, official or personality in the area, as far as you know. Is that right? I don't know nothing about him. And, and from what we could see, or what you've seen of the rest of the video, it would appear that it was running a, an open microphone. In other words, anyone could come up and say, in, 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 and get whatever off their chest if they wanted to. That was the position, wasn't it? I don't know. Um, now, let's, um, all right, now, let's move uh, from that then um, to some other matters and go back, if we may, to what we were discussing yesterday in respect of... Do we do this in private? Uh, no, I'm fine with open. Oh. Yes. And we were talking yesterday, you may recall, of certain themes uh, and the like. Um, just one moment. And we're dealing with certain certain themes relating to well, let, let me just ask you this, just um, going back, we're in open now, aren't we? Yes. Um, just going back to what that man was saying, um, again, as I put to you yesterday, that's the sort of strongest phrase that we find on the t in the tape, the videotape, of that demonstration of the 3rd of January. That's right, isn't it? I'm not getting you. Uh, Mr. Hooper, perhaps we can put on record what the person is saying. Uh, is it especially the part that you are now addressing? Um, yes, let's go, let's go back to it then. It, it, on the translation we have, um, what, what he says on, at page 16 on the translation, and I'll read it through. My point is to say that Kabaki should leave office at State House as from today, not tomorrow. He should leave today and take his wife back to Athaya. And here we are looking at line 519. Yes. Okay. Uh, unidentified speaker or speakers. Yes, yes. That's what we want. 
And what we'd like also to ask, not to ask but want rather, is for Rayla to come here to Eldoret so we can swear him in officially, cheering. And all the Kikuyus shout back, Central. Where should all the Kikuyus go? To Central. And where should Rayla go? Up. State House, Rayla. State House is the response. Rayla, State House. Rayla, State House. The father of our nation, State House. Now, as far as um, that is concerned, that, that, that phrase, all the cuckoos central, where should all the cuckoos go to central, that's the, the strongest phrase in this entire video. Would you agree? No one else expresses themselves like that. Sama. So I didn't quite hear it. Somehow. Somehow. What, 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 what do you mean by, by that, somehow? When you say the strongest, I, I really don't get it quite clear because it seems there are others also who alluded to the same. Uh, and from the, the context, there may be an ambiguity here, but it, it, it could equally, this phrase, in all the Kikuyu central, where should all the Kikuyus go to central, equally be consistent with them talking about Kibaki and the circle around him the Kikuyus around him, rather than Kikuyus in general. Do you agree? I don't agree. Thank you very much. Now, yesterday, we were talking... Uh, Mr. Mr. Hooper, can we stop, please? Um, did you take into account lines 539 to 540. Well, it goes on to read... Well, I'll, I'll address it. It goes on to read at 539. Thank you, our citizens from Cap Sabbat and would join up with other Kenyans, bearing in mind that we have suffered. And then the, the phrase, thieves are the Kikuyus, isn't it like that? Um, which is, in fact, we'd say is a mistranslation, um, and should read, theft belongs to the Kikuyus. Um, and the theft... The theft that's being spoken about there is the theft of the election, isn't it? No. All right. What theft do you, do you say that it belongs to? Even in ordinary sense, you, there, are there are existing prejudices against Kikuyus, in the sense that they've been granted thieves. All right. Okay. Um, I think for the completeness of the context and that part, it will be fair to take this whole thing up to line 553 at least. I will. Thank you. And it reads on, they try to steal night and, response back, daytime. And anyone who claims that we've stolen anything here in Cap Sabbat, we've never stolen anything. No one has stolen anything. Cheering. You forget about them. They should leave by all means. We want them to go right now. We came here for peace. We didn't come for war. And we've cast our votes in peace and justice. And an unidentified speaker 49 adds, and for Rayla, 
and back to 48. And for Rayla. We voted for Rayla. We didn't vote for guns to be in charge of us. Well, sorry, to be in charge. We voted for justice. And that justice is a leader who will lead us for five years. And even us. Let the likes of Ruto to stay Nairobi, knowing there are real men here in the Rift Valley. Um, that's the completion. And in fact, that last phrase um, we didn't vote for guns to be in charge is in fact to be in charge of us is the meaning, is it not? Which line is that? Your Line um, 550. It's a small um, translation point, and I don't want to get stuck into translation. Um, that last phrase, by the way, uh, and, it, and even us, let the likes of Ruto to stay in Nairobi, knowing that there are real men here in the Rift Valley. Was that, in fact, is there a tone there, a sense there of grievance by the speaker that Ruto is out of touch with the Nandi there, being in Nairobi? understand differently. Let Ruta stay in Nairobi. He has a representation uh, on the ground. All right. Now the next man, in fact, while we're on this, and this was played yesterday, you might remember, um, by my friend in, ask, in chief with you, when he was the prosecution were questioning you. You might remember that this was a, a man in a pink shirt with a big hammer uh, shouting who uh, was identified as uh, Edwin Kosky with the nickname Satoti. Can you just uh, confirm that Edwin Kosky is, is, is no relation to Henry Kosky? Kosky being just a very common name amongst the Nandi. Is that right? Your Honor, do I answer this in public? Uh, you, you only, do you know whether Edwin Kosky is related to um, Henry Kosky? That's all you, do you know? If you know, you can say yes, and if not, you can say no. Your Honor, if I may just suggest, could we go into private session, please? All right, we'll go into private session. Nous sommes en audience publique, Monsieur le Président. Mr. President, we are in public session. Edwin Kosky, no blood relation of Henry Kosky.
Now, can we come to, um, back to where we left off last night? Or oh, yesterday afternoon, we were talking about certain themes that Mr. Ruto uh, spoke about. Let me just remind you um, what we were discussing there. I I'd asked you whether you acknowledged, and I'm reading from the transcript, at uh, T63115, I'm asking you, do you acknowledge he has certain themes? He has a strong economic theme, first of all, doesn't he? And you agreed. Uh, he's concerned, as a politician, he's concerned to raise the standard of living of all Kenyans. Is that right? And you said that's right. And I asked you, he's very concerned that there are the multi-rich in Kenya and the dirt poor, who are the bulk of Kenyans. Is that right? And you said, agreed that that's right. And moving to another theme, I asked you, well, in respect of devolution, taking power from the centre and placing it in what are now the counties has been a constant theme with Mr. Ruto, hasn't it? And you said, I don't dispute that. So that's where we left off on, on that subject um, yesterday. Um, a, another theme that uh, you, you may have I been able to identify that was, again, a, a constant in, in many of his public announcements was the issue of work and, and work for young people. Uh, is that right? Generally, right? Because the problem of youth unemployment is, 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 a, is a very big problem in Kenya, isn't it? Yes. I understand that... Uh, 70% of the population of Kenya are aged under 30. Would you agree with that st statistic? I'm up again. That 70% that of the population of Kenya is aged under 30. It's a very young population. Maybe. And in relation to work, a a another issue is, is, is that that he identified, and others, was that there was a, a con concentration of work and opportunity at the centre in Nairobi that would be better if it was more fairly distributed throughout the country. That was another constant theme, was it not? Maybe. I don't have details. And I'd asked you if you'd come to hear of, directly or indirectly, um, his statement of being ready to work with all the people of Kenya, including the people of Central. Um, and I think you said you, you couldn't recollect that specific um, reference that I that I'd referred you to. Can you um, recall ever hearing him say on another occasion in, in Capsabet and at Eldoret these words? We have said we don't want tribalism. For a person to be born into a particular tribe is not his or her fault. It is the wish of God. Do you remember him saying words to that effect at any time? I don't recall. And, and while we've, we're on the, this sort of general theme, if I can put it like that, um, and we're in open session. 
So bearing in mind we're in open session, there's no difficulty that I see. Do you recall, Mr. Ruto, on the television or on the radio, um, because you may not have had access to newspapers at the time, but on the radio and television, do, do you recall him making very specific calls for an end to the violence of the post-election violence? Do you recall him making statements calling for peace, calling for an end to the violence in the first few days of January 2008. Can you recall him saying things like that? I don't recall. Now, can we just go into um, private session for a moment? Private session.
Nous sommes en audience publique, Monsieur le Président. Mr. President, we are in public session. Edwin Kosky, no blood relation of Henry Kosky. Now, can we come to, um, back to where we left off last night? Or oh, yesterday afternoon, we were talking about certain themes that Mr. Ruto uh, spoke about. Let me just remind you um, what we were discussing there. I I'd asked you whether you acknowledged, and I'm reading from the transcript, at uh, T63115. I'm asking you, do you acknowledge he has certain themes? He has a strong economic theme, first of all, doesn't he? And you agreed. Uh, he's concerned, as a politician, he's concerned to raise the standard of living of all Kenyans. Is that right? And you said that's right. And I asked you, he's very concerned that there are the multi-rich in Kenya and the dirt poor, who are the bulk of Kenyans. Is that right? And you said, agreed that that's right. And moving to another theme, I asked you, well, in respect of devolution, taking power from the centre and placing it in what are now the counties, has been a constant theme with Mr. Ruto, hasn't it? And you said, I don't dispute that. So that's where we left off on, on that subject um, yesterday. Um, a, another theme that uh, y you may have I been able to identify that was, again, a, a constant I in many of his public announcements was the issue of work and, and work for young people. Uh, is that right? Generally, right? Because the problem of youth unemployment is, 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 a, is a very big problem in Kenya, isn't it? Yes. I understand that 70% uh, of the population of Kenya are aged under 30. Would you agree with that st statistic? I'm up again that 70% of the population of Kenya is aged under 30. It's a very young population. Maybe. And in relation to work, a a another issue is, is, is that, that he identified, and others, was that there was a, a con concentration of work and opportunity at the centre in Nairobi that would be better if it was more fairly distributed throughout the country. That was another constant theme, was it not? Maybe. I don't have the details. And I'd asked you if you'd come to hear of directly or indirectly, um, his statement of being ready to work with all the people of Kenya, including the people of Central. Um, and I think you said you, you couldn't recollect that specific um, reference that I that I'd referred you to. Can you um, recall ever hearing him say on another occasion in, in Capsabet and at Eldoret these words? We have said we don't want tribalism. For a person to be born into a particular tribe is not his or her fault. It is the wish of God. Do you remember him saying words to that effect at any time? I don't recall. And, and while we've, we're on the, this sort of general theme, if I can put it like that, 
Um, and we're in open session. So bearing in mind we're in open session, there's no difficulty that I see. Do you recall, Mr. Ruto, on the television or on the radio, um, because you may not have had access to newspapers at the time, but on the radio and television, do, do you recall him making very specific calls for an end to the violence of the post-election violence? Do you recall him making statements calling for peace, calling for an end to the violence in the first few days of January 2008. Can you recall him saying things like that? I don't recall. Now, can we just go into um, private session for a moment? Private session. Mr. President, we're in public session. Thank you. Uh, please proceed. As led by Member of Parliament-elect William Ruto, appeal to all Kenyans to remain calm and observe peace as the country continues to witness the electoral violence across the, across the country. We have said very clearly and loudly that we want a peaceful nation we are asking Kenyans, wherever they are across the country, that we want to protest against what happened to us in this country, but we want to do it peacefully. We abhor any acts of violence. We ask Kenyans to shun and to avoid any acts of violence, any acts of looting, any acts of destruction of property, which is unnecessary. We are telling our people across the country that burning property, destroying life, engaging in acts of violence is, go, is actually against the democracy we are fighting for. We want every Kenyan to be heard, to participate in um, uh, freedom of association and freedom of expression but within the limits of peace ODM leader uh, Mr. Hooper very well thank you um, well now you've seen that first quote that I uh, um, played to you uh, um, quoted to you um, and my question is, having seen the television now, do you recall seeing that? I don't recall. I don't think I saw it. Thank you. Now, the next one. But when you say, I don't think I saw it, do you think you may have seen it, but forgotten about it? No, Your Honor. If, if it happens in January, uh, sincerely, I... I wasn't privy to the televisions. And again, Let's give us a moment, Ron, and we'll try and find the specific um, relevant part of the audio. And this will be the radio broadcast? This is the radio broadcast, right. which is in, um, actually, it's uh, in another, yes. Yeah, let's go into private. Private session. Mr. President, we are in public session. Now, the 5th of December 2007, there was a, a rally 
at the Kipchoge Kaino Stadium in Cap Sabet. It was an ODM rally. Uh, you've described, described it. You've described that there were thousands there. It was clearly a, a, a big rally. It was plainly um, a, a main rally um, prior to the December election. Is that right? Yes, Your Honour. And you've uh, explained how, how you went in the morning and you went away and then you came back and uh, you've spoken about um, the speakers that you can recall who, who, uh, who, who were present. Can I just ask you this? Don't, don't uh, provide us with any names, of course, in answer to this question. When you went there, did you go on your own or were you with anybody else? There were, we were in, I was following some groups. Um, well, let me put it like this. And again, remember, we're in open session. Were you associated in some way with those groups? or No. No. So did you go on your own? Or did you go with a friend, for example? On my own? Now, the large body of people there, given the area, um, they were, the, for the majority, um, Nandi. Is that right? Yes, Your Honour. Then there would be uh, Luyas. Yes, Your Honour. Luyas in a significant number. Is that right? I don't understand by significant number. Well, remember yesterday we were describing the general political makeup of the area, and you, you accepted as a, as a general figure that about 30% of the voting uh, population of Cap Sabit were Luya. Is that right? Yeah, Luyas were there. Uh, yes, and not a few, a lot of Luyas were there. Is that right? I don't know. There were Luos there uh, and people from other ethnic groups, including Kikuyu. Is that right? I don't know. But I'll presume Luos were there. But Kikuyus. I don't know. Well, c c can you, looking at a person, not always, but in general, could you tell, looking at them, whether they were Kikuyu as opposed to Nandi? From what I've known, Your Honour. Wait, wait. <clears throat> Let's go into private session. The court officer, we are in public session, Your Honor. Um, would it surprise you to know um, that the defense have met several Kikuyu who were present at that rally? It will surprise me. Kikuyu who were there and found nothing offensive in the speeches that were made. Does that surprise you? It will surprise me. Well. Now, being a, a substantial um, rally, is it right that the national media were present? Possibly. D 
did. Mr. Hooper, we're now back to the rally, is it? Yes, we're back. We're back. We're back on. We're back on the uh, the rally. The rally itself. Of the. Did you say fifth of December? The fifth of December. Yes. And just dealing with rallies. Remember, I was asking you yesterday what other rallies you went to, and you couldn't remember any other rally you went to in 2007. Do you remember? No. Well, let me ask you again. What other rallies did you go to in 2007? I don't remember. Thank you. Mr. President, we're in public session. All right. Um, we will now adjourn for the morning break and come back at 11.30. And the witness will now be uh, let all the witness stand for the morning break.